Cermak, Canada, growing fresh Atlantic salmon in the cold, clean waters of Vancouver Island, British Columbia. The key to growing quality, healthy fish is Cermak Canada's comprehensive genetics and broodstock program, which harvests genetic material, eggs and sperm from fish known as broodstock. These are fish which have been specifically selected to be the parents of the next generation of farmed salmon. The company uses one sea site and one land-based site facility to grow broodstock fish. We choose fish from our broodstock program that are best suited for our farming conditions here on the West Coast. CERMAC runs a family-based selective breeding program where fish are selected for fast growth, low early maturation and high survival. The fish are ranked based on those traits and the best performing ones are chosen as broodstock. So with this um, uh, selective breeding program that we do, what we're doing is actually just um, speeding up the process of, of um, advancing our genetic gains. There's no genetic modification involved in this. All we're doing is we're selecting the best performing fish and mating you know, the ones that we want together. So we're speeding up the process, but there's no genetic modification involved in this at all. We have pedigrees for all our breeding program fish, and this allows us to maintain genetic variability within our stock while keeping inbreeding to a minimum. The brood fish are raised at a separate salt water site where there are multiple generations. Broods are raised for 32 months. We try to mimic production site rearing conditions as much as possible in order to select fish that perform best under these conditions. In their final year, they, they also are given a, a different diet. So they get a, a special brood stock diet, which more than nutritional requirements that they need for producing the gametes, the eggs and the, the sperm. Some of the brood are sent to a land-based freshwater brood facility where they get spawned at different times than in salt water in order to spread out the spawning season which in turn spreads out the production grow out cycle. Each year we take the best female fish from the breeding program and harvest their eggs. We also take the best male fish and harvest their milt which is sperm. We mix the eggs and milk together to fertilize the eggs. Then we send the fertilized eggs out to our hatcheries. Every batch of harvested eggs and milt is specifically recorded in our system. For example, in a, uh, if somebody wants some analysis or some information from a lot that was harvested, we could actually take a DNA sample from that fish and then go back through the line and see what the mating was for the, that individual or for, from that sample. So from a traceability perspective, it, we should have uh, very good traceability. And that lets us learn how to make our broodstock program better year after year. Most salmon spend the first part of their lives in fresh water, and so do farm salmon. Cermak Canada's salmon begin their lives in a land based hatchery. Fertilized eggs from the broodstock program are kept in trays in an environment that simulates the creek beds where salmon lay their eggs in the wild. Fresh water is circulated through the trays and the eggs are kept in the dark as the fish grow inside. Hatchery workers regularly go through the egg trays to pick out eggs, keeping only the best. Once the eggs hatch, alevins emerge. These small fish still have egg sacs attached to their bellies, which they use to nourish themselves while they grow and get ready to be able to eat on their own. They continue to grow in watered trays until the small fish button up, which is what it's called when the egg sacs are finally gone. After buttoning up, the fish are known as fry and are moved into tanks where they are started on solid food. They are fed a fine crumble and spend their time eating and growing. As the fish grow in size, they're sorted into bigger tanks maintained by the latest in freshwater recirculating aquaculture systems technology and are now ready for larger sizes of feed. From egg to smolt, they spend about 14 months in the land-based freshwater hatchery until they're ready for salt water entry, called the smolt phase. Once they reach the smolt phase of their lives, they're ready to enter salt water. 
By staggering the spawning and the saltwater entry, Cermak is able to grow production size fish year round. At the hatchery, each fish is vaccinated by hand, so they'll be able to resist the natural viruses and diseases found in the ocean. They're loaded onto tanker trailers and transported to our farm sites by barge. After spending the first half of their lives in a hatchery, farmed salmon are transported to a sea site where they spend the rest of their lives growing to harvest size. Cermak Canada's sea sites are located around Vancouver Island. The farms in Clackwood Sound are supported by a partnership with the Ahouset First Nation and the protocol is certified by the Aboriginal Aquaculture Association. The fish grow in net pens, which are square cages made out of nets floating in the ocean. The pens are securely anchored and the nets are weighed to maintain a rigid cubic shape. One net pen typically holds about 50,000 fish and a typical farm has 12 net pens. So a single Cermak Canada farm site can grow over half a million fish. Now this sounds like a lot of fish, but the pens are not densely packed. In fact, the fish only take up about 3% of the pen volume. The rest is water. To ensure a continuous clean supply of water for the fish, site locations follow stringent government regulations requiring high tidal flow, appropriate depth, and kept well away from sensitive wildlife habitat. Farmers live and work on the farm sites, so there are people there 24-7. They make sure the fish are fed and healthy. Underwater cameras are used to watch the fish eat. If the fish slow down their feeding, the farmers can turn off the feeding system remotely with their tablets. Farmers check the water quality multiple times each day to monitor the ocean environmental conditions. They keep an eye on dissolved oxygen levels in the water and check for harmful plankton. If necessary, farmers can quickly deploy equipment to make sure oxygen is maintained and to keep harmful plankton out of the nets. Divers regularly inspect the nets to make sure there are no holes. They check the net pens as well as the predator nets, a secondary net around the entire farm system which keeps sea lions and seals from trying to grab a quick snack. They also remove any mortalities that may fall to the bottom of the nets. Fish are sampled regularly to check sea lice levels to make sure they are healthy and to make sure they are growing at the right speed. Fish spend 18 to 22 months in the ocean growing to their target harvest weight of about 5.5 kilograms. When farm salmon in Cermak Canada's sea sites reach about 5.5 kilograms, they're ready for harvest. The process is quick. Fish can go from our farms to our customers in just 48 hours, but there are many steps along the way. First, a harvest boat comes to the site and ties up alongside. The fish in that pen are seined up so they're close to the surface. They're pumped up in a pipe to the harvest boat where they're quickly and humanely stunned and bled. They're then loaded into the boat holds, which are packed with ice to keep the fish cold as they're transported to the processing plant. At the processing plant, the fish are unloaded from the harvest boat with suction pipes. They enter the processing floor on a conveyor belt. They're then sent through a machine that automatically guts them. Workers finish cleaning the fish and send them on for grading. The fish are graded by size and quality. Most of Cermak Canada's fish are top quality, premium grade. The fish are then packed in ice, stacked on pallets, and sent in trucks to Cermak Canada's customers. It only takes a few minutes to process the fish from the time they enter the plant to the time they're loaded into the refrigerated trucks. Certifications are assurances from independent third parties that we are farming salmon in a way that is responsible and sustainable. These neutral parties come and inspect every aspect of our businesses and make sure that we're doing it in a way that meets the highest standards, going beyond government regulations. 
We just recently received the Aquaculture Stewardship Council certification. The ASC standard is the highest standard currently possible in the world to achieve and was developed with NGO oversight. Because of CERMAC's commitment to providing value and growth through sustainable fish farming, we hold certifications to meet all pillars of sustainability. CERMAC holds eight third-party certifications, four ISO standards in environmental management, quality management, occupational health and safety, and in food safety. These four form the basis of our management systems and they cover the whole company. CERMAC was the first company in the world to hold Aboriginal certification for our protocol with the Housat First Nation. This certification shows we have included First Nations values and interests in our operations. Oh, and there's one more. CERMAC is the only aquaculture company in BC to have achieved the Occupational Safety Standard of Excellence. Okay, so that's a lot of certifications, but what do they mean to you? our customers. They publicly demonstrate our commitment to continual improvement and ensure that our standards are of the highest in the industry. They also build trust and trust allows growth and growth allows us to meet the growing demand for salmon. Top quality fish are only possible with a fish health and nutrition program that's committed to excellence. The company works closely with its feed supplier and employs professional veterinarians to make sure the nutritional needs of the fish are met and that they are kept in good health. Cermak farmers believe the way to keep the fish healthy is by being proactive instead of reactive. This means developing and following farming practices that are designed to meet the needs of our fish. Mandatory foot baths are used while entering each sea site to ensure fish are kept safe from any potentially harmful bacteria. Upon arrival at any sea site, even the farmers are transferred to a boat which is sterilized and assigned to that particular site to help further eliminate any outside contaminants. Fish densities are kept low in the net pens to help create an environment that's as stress-free as possible. A cross-section of the fish in the net pens are weighed regularly so that farmers know that the amount the fish are being fed is being reflected in healthy growth. And water quality is checked daily at all sea sites to ensure the fish are in an optimal environment. Just like on land, there are a number of naturally occurring viruses and bacteria in the ocean. As well, farmers need to check for the levels of sea lice on the farms. Sea lice are a parasite that are naturally found on wild salmon and other fish. They sometimes attach themselves to our fish. If the sea lice levels reach the regulatory threshold that's set by the Department of Fisheries and Ocean, then we have to take action to reduce that level. This action either involves harvesting the fish to remove the fish with the sea lice out of the ocean or mixing a medicine into their feed that eliminates the sea lice. We work to keep the sea lice levels on our farms low. Salmon farms use the least amount of medicines compared to almost all other commonly farmed animals. Salmon spend nearly two years housed and fed in the net pens which are naturally flushed by the clean exchange of ocean water from the constantly moving tide. This and other sensible farming practices promote natural health rather than using medicines. We use antibiotics sparingly and only when treating a diagnosed disease. A good diet is critical to keeping fish healthy. The feed that Cermak Canada uses is specially formulated to include all the protein and nutrients fish need to grow and stay in good health. The feed includes plant ingredients, minerals and vitamins. But the most important part is the protein-rich omega-3 fatty acid. This comes from fish meal and fish oil. Cermak Canada's feed supplier gets these ingredients from wild-caught forage fish, but also leftovers from other fisheries that would otherwise be thrown away. During the last 10 years, Cermak Canada has reduced by half the amount of fish meal and oil in the feed and greatly improved the feed conversion ratio of farmed salmon. It now only takes about 1.2 kilograms of feed to grow one kilogram of salmon. Cermak Canada continues to work with its feed suppliers to make sure that the feed ingredients come from sustainable sources. Cermak Canada, a world leader in sustainability, transparency, and third-party certification. For more information on Cermak Canada, please visit the website at cermak.ca.